All right, what's up guys? So welcome back. Uh, today's day two of the teardown for the STI. Um, Patrick's going to grab the whiteboard now to write down like what we all have to do today. Um, off camera, we did pull the battery and the radiator um, and then the, the intercooler um, core. So we, we did that off camera. Um, now we're gonna write down pretty much everything that we're gonna do today. Um, I think what we're gonna do is drain the oil um, and then start disconnecting all the fuel lines. Um, pull the alternator. Um, trying to think off the top of my head of stuff we haven't done yet. But he is going to grab the, uh, the whiteboard. So once he grabs that, we're gonna go ahead and break down everything. Um, so thanks for joining us. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. So. Okay guys, so we wrote down this. This is what we got going on so far. So we already did the battery, the radiator, the intercooler, and the, uh, the uh, cold air um, intake. Um, right, what we got next is gonna be oil, pitch stop, air pump, power steering, uh, AC compressor, um, alternator, starter, fuel lines, the master, we don't know if we have to pull the master or the slave. Um, we're gonna do it. This isn't a how-to video, but by any means, this is not a how-to video. Um, just throwing that out there. We've never pulled the engine. Um, we're gonna be doing this like on our own from what we have experience on. Um, but here comes here comes the mastermind behind the, this project. Yeah, not a how-to. This, this is, is not... to, this is to show that if you're as stupid as us and you, you can have some do... basic tools, we have some power tools, but you really don't need them. That you can do this. So, uh, so yeah, this is not a how-to video. Um, where most of this stuff um, we we have installed before. The the area where we're gonna it's gonna be a little iffy is when we get to the air oil separator um, and just remembering where everything goes. I know there's a ton of videos. I'm gonna take some pictures and the the process that we have going on is we're gonna use some masking tape when we get to the fuel lines and um, just use that for remembrance and then hopefully this video log if so, I have to re use this as reference. We're gonna like, on an electrical connector or like a something like this, we're gonna tape around and create a little flag on one side and then the other and then we're gonna label one and one or triangle and triangle, something like that so we know when we're assembling it what goes together. And then we're gonna write right here, say something with the air pump, don't use a Sharpie, had a triangle, we're gonna write this triangle next to it and then when we're reassembling and we're checking off all these things, we'll know that triangle means the air pump, check the triangle off. So, just organization really, hopefully, in theory. Yeah. We need to put the hood to, hood to service mode too. We don't have to do that today. We can take it off, but I think we just need to move these down to here so it can go up oh, a little bit more. And then, but yeah, we'll be that's, right. we're not pulling that's it. That's when today. we, just, yeah, when we get ready to pull the motor. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we got going on. Um, I'll try to film some stuff that's a little bit harder, but some of the easy stuff I won't, like I'm not gonna film us uh, draining oil or removing the pitch stop. Um, but when we get to some of the harder stuff, um, I think the, the alternator is really easy to take off. It's tricky to put back on. So when we go to reassembly, I'll, I'll record doing that but taking it off is really easy. Um, same with like the down pipe and things like that. When we get to the fuel lines, I'll show you what we got going on. And, and uh, yeah, we'll keep it moving. So that's about it. Let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the AC compressor. Um, all we did was cut the belt. Um, we're just gonna buy another one when we reassemble. Um, but that's what we're gonna work on now. So AC compressor, um, and then go from there and I'm going to take a, a few pictures when we remove the alternator um, we put the the alternator bolts back onto it so when you try if you're doing this yourself try and like put the bolts back into the, the spots they are for reassembly pur purposes um, it just makes things easier and then like I said anything that you can't put back on use like the masking tape procedure and you can either do same symbols or numbers we're probably going to use numbers um and do it that way and then anytime you unplug something that's when we're, we're actually going to put it on there just like what what patrick's doing now so and that's it that's the process trust the process 
All right, so we uh, removed the um, air pump. It was held on by two 12 millimeter bolts and it was pretty much right here. Um, once you remove those two, this will come off and then it's held in by the, uh, or the plug is plugged into it and you just unplug it. So put it back. All right, fu all right future Sean and Patrick. Yeah, no so, right. oh, it's kind of dark. Um, you, you can see it, it's okay. 4K. Okay, so there's two little plugs right here. You can see them in the light. The top one will go to that, and then this bottom one will go to the cover. It has a little thing that comes around, and it goes to that, and it got a little hose clamp on it. Future Patrick. <laughs> all right, so future us, we've got... <laughs> The AC compressor, we just moved it to the side. So it, it came off with these four bolts and that's the, the lineup. Um, all the lines stay connected. So if you, if you disconnect them, you'll, you have to take it to, to a shop to like, what, what is it, re-evacuate re the, yeah, re, re the Freon. So keep everything connected and just move it to the side where the battery was. Um, we're gonna zip tie like all this stuff um, to keep to the side. The goal is is to do like less work, so just make sure you stay organized. So we put the bolts back in. Um, like I said, here's the, the layout, and that's that's the step we're at right now. And we're just drawing our map, and then we're logging everything. Like I said, two goes with air pump, one goes with AC compressor, um, and that's pretty much what we've gotten so far. So there we go. Okay, so what we did so far was we had to remove one of the um, uh, uh, AOS um, lines that ran right in front of the bolt that we had to remove to get to the power steering bolt that was like hidden back here. So once we did that, um, we just moved it to the side, got the bolt out, and then there's two more in the front where they two, uh, 312s, 312 millimeter yeah. bolts. Um, so we removed those three that piece came came off and then we just set it to the side and then we put the We put our label here. So that's the only plug that we we unplugged was right on the top of the uh, power um, steering uh, Pump so we're just putting the bolts back in in place and uh, Not dropping it in an engine, yeah, but uh, <laughs> So that's what we got so far just to keep everything um, flowing and moving and uh, this right here is just water or whatever, probably like, I don't know, it's either water or, yeah, rainwater or something. Um, so that's what we got going on so far. And then uh, I'll probably get to doing the, um, the, the pitch stop and draining the oil next while, while Patrick works on the next stop, uh, next step, which is probably the starter, I think. Pitch mount starter. Yeah. Yeah that area so that's what we got next all right so right now we are working on uh removing the um just getting hoses out of the way from the uh, aos um we removed the pitch stop and drain the oil we're just tracking everything where we where we got everything routed um doing our process um i'm holding this um this line just waiting to be uh, tracked, and I took pictures just to trace everything. So that's the step that we got got going. We're moving slowly but surely. All right. Um, so we did kind of a lot since the last time. Um, well, not really a lot. It was a pain in the butt. But like, we were getting the downpipe bolts off, which sucked because they're kind of rusted. Um, I did pull a stud out of the uh, turbo, um, so that, that we're, we're going to have to replace those anyways, but basically um, we're getting the downpipe off, um, I got all the top bolts off, we're going to get the one on the bottom off, remove the O2 sensors, and then he has an external wastegate, so we have to move that out the way, um, if you can see it down there. We have to move that out the way because there's a bolt right underneath the down, or on the bottom side of the downpipe. Um, that's what we're getting ready to do um, next. And uh, we were, or I think, what did you do? Pull the, the, the timing? Um, I just pulled the crank, the the crank, crank pulley. pulley bolt out. So when the engine's out of the car, 
we we don't have that's easier to take off when we attach the transmission so that's just out and then when it's out of the car we'll either go right oh we might go to get that actually so when it's out of the car we'll take the actual pulley off so we can get to the timing because we're also doing that yeah i forgot if you said that Yep. Okay. So that's that's what we're doing now. We're finishing up the downpipe, um, and uh, that's it. All right. Uh, little little things have changed since the last time I recorded. We uh, we finally got the the wastegate off. Um, that's where we got kind of got stuck at. We had to run to AutoZone. We needed a <laughs> one of the most basic tools. Uh, we needed a little L-shaped hex um, to reach reach it like all the other tools that we got like they're too long and big um so we needed something smaller to get to it <laughs> um anyway so we're gonna stop this is where we're gonna stop today um so we finally got the wastegate off um that's how we're gonna get to the uh the other um bolt and nut um or the bolt from the uh, down pipe off and once we get that off then we can get to the next step so we're just gonna stop today. Um, so we, we did a lot um, so far. We're just gonna clean up some and um, get at it next time. So if you're uh, new to the channel, like I said uh, in the beginning, this isn't a how-to. Um, we're just kind of uh, going going through the motions and, and uh, if, if the two of us can do it, anybody can, because we're not the, uh, the brightest when it comes to this, maybe. I'm a little better off than you are. Yeah, Patrick is, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so like and subscribe if you like this so far, and uh, stay tuned until next time. Peace out.